Spain is one of the most diverse countries in Europe. The country has been a popular tourist destination for decades due to its stunning Mediterranean beaches, friendly locals, and incredible cuisine. From the architectural wonders of Barcelona and the natural beauty of Tenerife, to the ancient cathedrals of Granada and the buzzing nightlife of Ibiza, Spain has something to offer for every traveler. To help you with the planning of your trip to this beautiful country, we've narrowed down the options and chosen some of the best places you shouldn't miss when visiting Spain. So let's get started by heading to Spain's second largest city, Barcelona. Barcelona is located on Spain's east coast, and the city's famous for its diverse architecture and relaxed beaches. One landmark that you really shouldn't miss is the famous Sagrada Familia Basilica that dominates the city's skyline from everywhere in the city. The 18 spindly towers and colored glass windows make it look a bit more like a dreamy fairy tale castle than a Catholic church. Although the basilica is unfinished, you can visit the interior of the building and take a closer look at all the intricate artistic details. Another must-do experience is a walk through the famous Gothic Quarter. It has mainly been built between the 13th and 15th centuries, and it's centered around the beautiful Santa Cruz Cathedral. From here, you can wander through the maze of cobblestone streets and narrow alleyways, immerse yourself in the magical medieval atmosphere, or stop by one of the many boutique shops. If you are feeling more adventurous, you can hike up to the summit of Mount Tibidabo. Here, you'll find lots of different attractions ranging from a historic church, Europe's oldest amusement park, as well as an observation deck that will offer a 360-degree view of the city and surrounding countryside. After exploring Barcelona, let's head over to the beautiful island of Tenerife. Tenerife is the largest of Spain's Canary Islands, and it's located just off the northwestern coast of Africa. The island has been drawing visitors to its shores since the 1970s, and it's best known for its natural beauty with the black and gold sand beaches, clear turquoise waters, and rugged cliffs. When visiting Tenerife, you shouldn't skip a hike in the spectacular Masca Valley. This six-kilometer-long gorge extends all the way down to the ocean and will lead you along unique rock formations, lush vegetation, and numerous stunning viewpoints. If you have the time, you should also visit the spectacular cliffs of Los Gigantes. Once you've arrived in the nearby resort town, you can go on a boat tour along the coastline to see the massive 500-meter-high cliffs up close. If you are lucky, you'll be able to see dolphins and other marine life on the way. After Tenerife, we'll head over to Granada. Nestled at the foot of the Sierra Nevada mountains, the mystical city of Granada is famous for its rich history and unique architecture. One of the city's most popular sites is the famous Alhambra Palace. This iconic structure was originally constructed as a fortress and today stands as one of the finest examples of Moorish architecture. Here you can explore the royal palace with its intricate stone carvings, wander through the serene gardens, and admire the panoramic views of Granada from the more than one mile long fortified walls. For a less touristy experience, you can visit the olive groves surrounding the city. Granada is well known for its olive oil production, and you won't have to look far to enjoy the magical sight of olive trees lining the quiet hills. If you have the time, you can book a private tour in one of the many family-run estates and learn about the production process of some of the world's finest olive oils. After Granada, let's head over to the island of Ibiza. Located about 100 miles off the coast of Spain, Ibiza is best known for its electronic dance music and upscale seaside resorts. One of the best ways to start exploring the island is to visit Ibiza's historic old town, Dalt Alta. Here, you'll feel transported back in time as you wander through the cobbled streets lined with world-class restaurants and bars, perfect for a typical Spanish tapas dish or a candlelit dinner with friends. Eventually, all Old Town roads lead up to the Castel de Evisa. Within the castle's walls, you'll find an assortment of historic buildings constructed over a 1,000-year period, a former government residence, a pretty 13th-century cathedral, and a Moorish-era tower. You'll also be rewarded with stunning views over the turquoise Mediterranean Sea. After Ibiza, we'll head to the neighboring island of Formentera. 
Located only a 30-minute ferry ride from Ibiza, you'll find the island of Formentera. Although it's the smallest of the Balearic Islands, it's brimming with character. Here, the stunning white sand beaches, rolling dunes, and Mediterranean pine trees make the perfect backdrop to a host of boutique beach bars, restaurants, and hotels, each more charming than the next. One of the best ways to explore this rustic paradise is by bike or moped. The flat, open terrain and dusty coastal paths will offer you a unique experience. During the hot midday sun, you can make a pit stop at one of the many beach bars and eventually venture out to the iconic La Mola Lighthouse for a romantic sunset. After Formentera, let's head over to iconic Monastery of Montserrat. Located about an hour's drive from Barcelona, the Abbey of Montserrat is one of the city's most popular day-trip destinations. Founded in the 11th century and then rebuilt in the 18th century, the Montserrat Monastery is one of the most important Catholic pilgrimage sites in the world. Until this day, it's as home to over 80 Benedictine monks who live, work, and pray here. The remote monastery feels a bit like a small town. Once you've made the 15-minute railway ride to the main site, you'll find a Romanesque church, an ancient library, a museum of fine arts, as well as several restaurants and even a hotel. For a more active experience, you can also explore the surrounding mountains with their unique sawtooth rock formations. The mountains are crisscrossed with numerous hiking trails for all levels and will offer you panoramic views over the valley below. Let's now head to the next place on our list, Mallorca. Mallorca is the largest of Spain's Balearic Islands, and it's one of Europe's most popular beach getaways due to its pristine beaches and charming towns. One of the best ways to start your Mallorcan adventure is to visit the capital city of Palma de Mallorca. Here, you can stroll down the lively streets or take a relaxed walk alongside the vibrant beach promenade that's dotted with cute cafes and upscale restaurants. Also, make sure to stop by the glorious Mallorca Cathedral, which overlooks the old harbor and rises more than 40 meters into the air. For a more laid-back experience, you can visit the hilltop town of Valdemassa. Here you can wander through the old town's charming streets, admire traditional stone houses, flower-filled balconies, and quaint shops. Make sure to save enough energy for a hike up to the viewpoint, Mirador de Miranda, to capture some beautiful shots of Valdemosa and the surrounding mountains. After Mallorca, let's explore the beautiful region of Andalusia. Andalusia is Spain's southernmost region, and it's been a tourist magnet for decades due to its whitewashed towns and sun-drenched coastline. One of the best things to do in Andalusia is to visit the charming town of Ronda. Here, you can spend the day exploring the historic quarter before soaking in the panoramic views from the iconic New Bridge. For a truly unforgettable experience, visit the bridge during sunset when the warm light transforms the countryside below. Another must-see destination in Andalusia is the city of Cadiz. Here, you'll find numerous iconic landmarks to explore, including the Cadiz Cathedral, the Roman Theater, and the San Sebastian Castle. For a different perspective of the city, be sure to make the trek to the top of the Tower of Poniente. After Andalusia, let's head over to Segovia. Located about an hour's drive from Madrid, Segovia is one of the capital's most popular day-trip destinations. The city is especially famous for its impressive Roman aqueduct that runs straight through the city's center. Dating back almost 2,000 years, this marvel of engineering was built to bring water to the city over a staggering 17-kilometer distance. Today, you can stroll along the ancient site and marvel at its flawless double-decker arches, built from more than 20,000 blocks of solid granite. The aqueduct stretches all the way to the Alcazar, another one of the city's iconic landmarks. This fairy tale palace stands majestically above the city and is said to have been the inspiration for Walt Disney's Cinderella Castle. You'll be able to tour the palace's rooms and chambers and even climb up the spiral stairway to the Torre de Juan II Tower for the best panoramic views of the city.
After Segovia, let's have a look at the last place on our list, Tarbarca. Tarbarca is a small island located off the coast of Alicante. Prior to becoming a tourist destination, the island used to be a former pirate hideout, an 18th century forted town, as well as an isolated fishing village. A great way to learn about its intriguing history is to take a stroll through Tabasco's historic old town. You can wander down the cobbled streets, marvel at ancient buildings, and then treat yourself to a culinary delight in one of the many seafood restaurants. The island also boasts an incredible biodiversity, making it one of Spain's favorite snorkeling and diving destinations. You'll be able to book a guided tour to explore the island's unique water landscapes, colorful coral reefs, and even uncover some of the island's hidden pirate caves. That was our final stop on our list of the best places to visit in Spain. Whether you're planning a trip to Spain in the near future or just wanted to explore faraway lands with us, we hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for regular updates and more interesting videos from around the world. If you have a favorite place in Spain that you think we should know about, or just want to share your experience with one of the places on our list, please let us know in the comments below. Until next time!